Greetings, good people. Welcome back to the channel. All right, so by now, everyone should have seen Candy's Speak On It video that she did on her channel on YouTube, all right? And she definitely spoke on it, okay? She talked about a plethora of things. But what I want to talk about in this video in particular is this quote unquote beef with Tamar, right? You guys know Tamar is an attention seeker and she will stop at nothing to get attention from any and everyone. So Candy, she finally responded to Tamar accusing her and her husband, Candy's husband, Todd, of threatening her, you know, after they had got into a, um, a heated argument, all right? So most of us were patiently waiting for Candy to address this little girl and in a long-winded response, child, you know Candy is gonna give you receipts, she's gonna speak on it. Very long-winded though, I can understand why. So in a long-winded response, you know, she, she pretty much did just that. So I'm gonna play clips that most of you probably have already seen uh, and share my thoughts after or maybe maybe during the uh the clips okay so let's switch screens real quick all right shout out to uh the shade room who perfectly put together some of these clips okay i'm not gonna go into the latasha piece yet i'm gonna do that in a separate video so let's just see what she and todd had to say about tamar most of us knew that tamar was lying anyway um I, i'm i'm gonna believe candy on this one all right like to hit here it go let's see Tamar and I, yes, we had words. When I first saw her, no, I was not having any t intention on having beef with Tamar, okay? That was not my intent. My plan was to just say, hey, and keep it pushing. Uh -huh. I, she, she, What she did not say to you guys was she had already... Uh, unfollowed me on social media mm. she did yeah i know she has you guys thinking that i was upset about the dish nation interview that was not what my issue was right my issue was that after the dish nation interview she actually went in her story and reposted the person that i was all right so let me pause this candy please don't strike this girl this is for educational purposes okay and me and you have the same birthday girl so we both taurus sisters anyway I'm glad that Candy incorporated this. You guys know that she is like the receipt queen. This is a picture. I talked about this in a previous video. This is from Instagram stories. So what happened was Carlos King, who Candy has an issue with, right? Carlos King posted a video of Tamar at some show. She probably was opening up for somebody um, at some show. And Carlos wrote the caption you see on the bottom. My bish is back and tagged Tamar. Tamar reposted Carlos's story post and said, you know, my homie or whatever she said, you ain't got to steal from nobody. See, Tamar started this. That's, that's very common, right? Tamar's always starting some ish because she's so desperate for attention. Desperate people are dangerous. So this is what Candy is referencing. Let's continue. Having a problem with or whatever, or past problems with mm -hmm. she reposted them and put like you ain't got to steal from nobody or some type of comment on her um story right as if what i was saying was a lie mm -hmm. which is what tamar and i yes we had words oh when i first saw bad, her no the issue with he's not even talking about this Carlos isn't talking about it. It's like, sorry, guys, I have to kind of keep pausing because I don't want to get a copyright strike, okay? All right, Candy Girl. So why are you involving yourself in our business? Right. And why are you doubling down on it in your story if it's just about, you know, you being interviewed on Dish Nation? Right. So to be clear, it had nothing to do with Dish Nation. I know all those blogs and, I mean, all those interviewers going to ask us uncomfortable questions. And I get it. You know what I mean? That was not my problem. When I saw her, I, my intent was just to say hello, keep it pushing. Mm -hmm. I said hello. She wanted to know why I didn't give her extra. And at that point, that's when the conversation happened. Y'all clearly see that I have no problem of saying my side to right. any story. We know. So that's why she and I started having the conversation in a hallway with a whole bunch of people. Mm -hmm. It was clearly two women trying to talk out an issue that they were having. Right. And... Nobody was interrupting. People were walking by. It was like 30 people that walked by. I had a problem with it. Of this conversation. Some parts of the conversation was very 
aggressive as far as the way we were talking to each other. So, and here's here's what I want to say. Who cares if Candy said I ain't effing with you? If I'm not effing with you, I'm going to tell you to your face that I'm not effing with you. And Candy did just that. So because Tamar's little fake feelings were hurt, who cares? She very much, you didn't hear it from secondhand information. Tamar, that is. You heard it directly from Candy. Candy let it be known that she ain't effing with you. She said it to your face. Everybody wants people to keep it real until they keep it real. Most people, well, if you got something to say to me, say it to my face. Candy said it to your face, and now it turns into a problem. Girl, bye. Some parts were, you know, calm because we were trying to really work out whatever the issue was. Anyway, at some point in the conversation towards the end, um, you know, she kept trying to say about the Dish Nation interview, and I was explaining to her that it wasn't about the Dish Nation interview. It was mm -hmm. about the other things. Right, right. And... I don't know if it was because it was a lot of people in the, you know, it was an audience. That's exactly what it was, Candy. Whenever a clown has an audience, they gonna, they gonna do clown-ish. That's exactly what it was, girl. Or whatever. You know, we both was, you know, going back and forth. But I basically was saying to her, it would have been no different of me speaking on her argument with we tv when she was having that big drama with we tv bingo and if i would repost it we tv and said that basically dissed what she was saying candy that makes too much sense for her child you know you know she ain't it ain't the elevator don't go all the way to the top that's too much logic you know some people are scared of logic exactly great example candy or made it seem like what she said was not important you right. know what i mean and i was that's that's of this conversation great example some part i was explaining to her and then all of a sudden she you know oh, I, I, ain't on the house. I can't be the whenever you try to use logic with a dummy they always deflect here it is she's deflecting according to candy oh i ain't on housewives tamar has drummed up so much drama on every single reality show that she's been on so somehow you're above housewives drama she don't even make any sense candy why did you even have this conversation just you should have just walked off honestly it's a waste of time you know like all of a sudden now you want to talk about you know you don't do all this back and forth because i made a valid point right, right? um and right. then yeah at that point when she started doing all that yeah i start flipping right okay i just can't talk right now. dap him up and then he's like, yo, I'm with Tamar now. I'm like, okay, cool, cool. This is where Todd came in. Shout out to Todd. I, I was really curious to hear his side of the story. Todd basically said that he saw Tamar's man, this JR guy that she's fake engaged to, uh, he, he's known him, he's seen him around at Atlanta in a couple of clubs. So he said the next day, which is the day after the, I don't know if it's the day after the incident or the day of, I think it's the day after. Anyway, he saw, he came up to Todd, Jr. and said, Hey, you know, I'm with Tamar now. So he, you know, he kind of dapped him up and this is where the story is. He was like, yo, she told me that something happened. I'm just trying to figure out what happened. So for me, his tone and his energy is mad calm and cool mm -hmm. it's on some grown up we talking like two grown men mm -hmm. so i'm not thinking this is a big deal thing so because after i see all of this stuff i threatened her i tried to fight her according to tay marchow now homie would have been coming a little differently if you he... didn't say nothing what are you talking about you i'm saying? just saying what we've seen that she's saying now that, oh what's she saying that you know that i tried to threaten her, i tried to fight her homie's energy would have been much different right so homie wasn't coming with no type of negative energy. So we, we basically gave each other the same energy. Right. He gave me calm and cool, I gave him calm and cool. Right. So I explained to him what happened. You know, the same story you heard. I told my wife, yo, come on, man, let's go. You know what it is, da, da, da. Homie ain't have no problem with it. Go dap him up. And then he's like, and then I went on to say, yo, I've always been cool with Tamar. I've never had a problem with her. I explained to him what happened, da, 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 yo, you know, they were getting, in this heated argument, it started escalating. I told my wife, yo, let's go. You know what it is, man. Let's go. Leave this shit alone. Homie, he didn't have no problem with that. He he didn't he didn't buck up like, yo, why you saying, you know, you know what it is. I never said that to her. I said that to my wife, and that was it. So then after that, I'm like, yo, I've never had a problem with Tamar. You know, we've always been cool. Even if my wife had a little tiff with her, 
I ain't had no problems with what they were dealing with. I see her out as love, hugs, whatever. So I'm like, yo, let's go talk to Tamar and just clear this shit up. Because my vibe is when the fellas are around, the energy is more. And we just had a discussion and everything is cool. She starts flaring and cursing. And for me, I'm not dealing with that shit. So I That's exactly what I'm glad Todd said. Because when I heard this story, I was like, Todd ain't about to sit there and be no rah-rah with no... I don't, I don't know, but you never know people. I'm not assuming to know these people like the back of my hand. You never know. But I'm just more inclined to believe Candy and Todd, child. I can go all the way back, all the way back, and point out instances where Tamar basically got caught up in her lies and made up stuff. But who has time to do all of that, okay? So I was like, yo, bro, you got that. I'm out, and I walk away. And that was it. Yeah. Like you, check it. Contestant on your show, on your dating show, he want to come on with his his fake news like fake news y'all he ain't checked nobody i didn't think he checked anybody either candy i'ma keep it a bean i did not think that he checked anyone either it just sounded fake and it sounded forced okay so i mean what do you guys think about everything that candy had to say about uh tamar it's <laughs> It just never ends with this girl. It really absolutely never freaking ends. Um, now, Candy, she did mention, I mean, Tamar did mention Candy's vocals and how she can't sing. You know, Latasha did the same thing. I do believe that when things like that are said, it does hurt Candy's feelings. But here is the thing. Does it matter that Candy, quote unquote, cannot sing to either one of them? And, and to most people, I feel like Tamar considers herself, you know, the better singer, but is she the better artist overall? And I would say, hell no, okay? Let me see if I could pull up that tweet. Uh, Todd didn't walk up, hold on. Yes, girl, your voice is distinctly ugly. Hashtag speak on that, wrap it up. This is what Tamar said. Um, and cause Candy basically said that, you know, her voice is distinct. And when she was addressing Latasha saying that Candy's voice is, is she can't sing insinuating. She can't sing. I just, like I said, does it matter that Candy can't quote unquote sing to most people? Like, do people know Tamar as Tony Braxton's messy sister that lies and causes drama everywhere she goes? Or is Tamar known as a professional artist that has contributed significantly to the music industry? You tell me. When you hear Tamar, what do you think? Everybody's going to have a different answer, and that's fine. Um, I have said on several occasions, going back to when I used to review the Braxton's reality show, that Tamar is a dangerous person, right? I believe that she is proven to be the sower of discord. She is a sower of discord. She tells lies to make herself, you know, the victim, to garner sympathy, and she has displayed this behavior for several years. If you are familiar with Braxton family values from the beginning, you know, up until the very last season, then what I'm saying to you should make sense, right? She insinuated that Candy was a battered woman and indirectly called Todd an abuser, okay? I showed those, those, um, tweets in a previous video when all of this first jumped off that to me making innuendos like that can ruin somebody's reputation and and what if todd decided to seek legal action i feel like tamar doesn't care because she she has what is she she has nothing to lose in my opinion that's the way that she behaves she's very reckless and here's another thing that i find interesting tamar claims that there were witnesses to co co uh, corroborate her story, right? She said that, oh, plenty of people were around when she did that live when she was in the car with JR. There were plenty of people around. No one has spoken up on her behalf. when this. And Candy even confirmed that there was an audience, there were a lot of people around. No one is speaking up in defense of Tamar. Come to think of it, no one ever does, right? Now, even her sisters. Right? Is, is it just me? Anyway, she doesn't care how her behavior affects her family anyway. So, oh, well, whatever. Like, lastly, Candy, she brought up the fact that Tamar was upset uh, in this speak on it. I didn't play the clip, but Candy talked about when Tamar was upset, when Monica, Toya, um, and whoever else, they shared a clip of, I think it was Tiny was on the reel. When Tamar got fired from the reel, basically, I think they asked Tiny, was it Tiny on the reel? Was it Monica? 
or was it both of them? I can't remember, but I do remember either Tiny or Monica filled in at one point. I don't know why I'm, I'm picturing Monica filling in. She don't want it with Monica. So maybe it was Tiny. I don't know. They filled in uh, for her because they had rotating um, guest hosts when Tamar got fired. Tamar sat on the couch at the Wendy Williams show. Candy incorporated that clip where she said that she unfollowed Monica. She unfollowed Toya, Tiny. She unfollowed Candy because she felt that they didn't have her back. She felt wronged by the real. And because one of them, I don't remember who it was. Y'all correct me in the comments, actually went on to guest co-hosts. She unfollowed all of those girls who she's friends with. None of them. I think Tamika uh, Tiny just kind of tolerates her. I don't think none of them talk to her. To I know Toy don't talk to her. Monica probably like girl by uh, it's not given. Um, so even though Candy gave an example of of the We TV situation, I remember Candy bringing that up and. Tamar felt betrayed, you know, because whosoever went on the show after after uh, Tamar got fired. So how the hell can Tamar sit up here on social media and act like she doesn't understand why Candy would be annoyed with her for basically saying that Candy was lying about Carlos allegedly stealing Escape's life story, right? That's Candy's whole gripe with Carlos. See, this is how I know that Tamar does these things for attention because just like candy said when you start making sense to some of these clowns when you start trying to you know treat them like a human being with the ability to use logic and reason they flare up and just start talking about they, them they malfunction and they start talking about random stuff they can't rebuttal your 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 argument because they're clowns they're idiots and they're doing stuff for attention so that's why like tamar understands exactly what the heck candy is saying she's just a sower of discord that's how you know she's full of nonsense and will go to great lengths to get any type of attention. I'm telling you, desperate people are dangerous, all right? But enough about enough about Tamar. My skin's starting to itch. You guys drop down in the comments and share your thoughts. If you saw Candy's speak on it, hopefully you watch the entire thing so that you can get a full scope of what it is that she thought, sharing her thoughts, dropping receipts. And shout out to Candy's... Um, that shirt that she had on, that was fire. That was the Adidas and Gucci collab. Shout out to Candy. I couldn't take my eyes off the shirt because I thought that shirt was fire. It was dope. Anyway, I want to hear what your thoughts are. Drop down in the comments and share your thoughts. I love you for watching. As always, until next time, peace.